on has a radius of 5.0 cm and a height of 12 cm. In calculating its volume, find A, the relative error, B, the percentage error. To find the volume of a cone, here is the formula. Volume is equals to that I R squared height. Now in this case, uh, when calculating the relative error in the volume, our interest will be the measurements that we're given, that is the radius and the height. We're not going to use uh, that pi. So, uh, look at uh, the measurements given. Radius is 5.0 centimeters and height is 12 centimeters. What is happening to radius? Radius is squared, so radius is multiplied by itself. So, radius times radius, then we have the height. So, the best method to use to calculate the relative error is to get the sum of the relative errors in each of the measurements that are being multiplied. The measurements that are being multiplied is the radius, which is the radius squared, this is radius times radius and the height. So we need to get the relative error in each of these measurements that are given. How do we get a relative error? RE is given by the absolute error, AE, divided by the actual, the actual measurement so let us get the relative error in each of these measurements we start with the radius radius is uh, 5.0 centimeters so we start by getting the absolute error the absolute error is given by so absolute error is given by half times the least unit of measurement the least unit of measurement in 5.0 is 0 0.1 and so this will give absolute error to be 0.05 for 12 we get the absolute error for 12 again so absolute error of 12 we get it by a half times the least unit of measurement which is uh, the least unit of measurement for 12 is 1 so that is uh, 1 over 2 times 1 and the absolute error will be 0.5 and after getting that now let us get the sum of the relative errors in each of these measurements that are being multiplied, that is radius, the first radius. So the relative error is given by absolute error for the actual measurement. So we start with the relative error in 5.0. So it will be 0 0.05. That is the absolute error over the actual measurement, which is 5. Then plus R is being multiplied again. So 0 0.05 divided by 5. Then plus height, we have absolute error is 0 0.5 divided by 12. So we add all these and that will give us the relative error in calculating the volume. So this will give uh, 0 0.01 plus 0 0.01 plus when you divide 0 0.5 by 12, you get uh, 0 0.0417. So adding everything, 0 0.01 plus 0 0.01 plus 0 0.0417, this one will give 0 0.0617. So that is how we get the relative error in calculating the volume. And in simple terms, this is how we get the relative error when we are multiplying. Get the sum of the relative errors of each of the measurements that are being multiplied. Now percentage error. Percentage error is given by relative error multiplied by 100. In this case, we have in this case we have the relative error is 0.0617, and then we multiply this by 100. Multiply this by 100. So this will give us 6.17. So that is simply how we get the percentage error.